Well, a controversial classified memo has been made public today. The move has pitted President Trump against the FBI and Department of Justice. KPX 5's Jackie Ward joins us in the studio. Jackie, both the FBI and the Department of Justice strongly oppose this memo's release. Right, so now we're analyzing what this all means. A controversial classified memo now public despite objections to its release from both the FBI and Justice Department. President Trump agrees to declassify a controversial memo over the objections of his top law enforcement officials. The memo was sent to Congress. It was declassified. Congress will do whatever they're going to do. But I think it's a disgrace what's happening in our country. The president tweeted this morning, quote, the top leadership and investigators of the FBI and the Justice Department have politicized the sacred investigative process in favor of Democrats and against Republicans. The memo, written by Republican Congressman Devin Nunez, reportedly claims the FBI and Department of Justice abused surveillance of Trump campaign officials as part of its Russia probe. The FBI has pushed back, saying it has grave concerns about the memo's accuracy. White House officials say the president is releasing the memo in full without any changes. It was sent back to the House Intelligence Committee for its release. I sent it over to Congress. They will do what they're going to do. Whatever they do is fine. It was declassified. And let's see what happens. Democrats say Nunez cherry-picked different classified elements to put a partisan slant on the investigation. This is designed to impugn the uh, credibility of the FBI, to undermine the investigation, to give the president additional fodder to attack the investigation. FBI Director Christopher Wray is likely to issue a rebuttal now that the memo has been released. Democrats say they are concerned President Trump will use the memo to justify the firing of Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein. Rosenstein, he's a Trump appointee, and he's the man in charge of special counsel Robert Mueller. Firing Rosenstein would allow the president to appoint someone new who could be more open to the idea of firing Mueller. Kenny.